Let's install Miniconda. Miniconda is an Anaconda Python distribution that comes with a much lower memory footprint because it doesn't include all the base packages of Anaconda, which means if you want to use those base packages, you'll have to install them yourself, which I usually end up doing anyway. So let's go ahead and get started with Miniconda. And we're just gonna start by um, installing searching for install Miniconda and hit enter once you have that ready. And we're gonna go just into the Miniconda documentation here. So we'll click on this. And here we can see the um, Miniconda installers down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the one from my operating system which is the Windows 64-bit. And I'll just go ahead and click on that. Miniconda 3 is for Python 3, which is probably what you want to be using. Um, if you're doing anything with my courses or following my tutorials, Miniconda 3 is what you want to use. So click on that installer. And I'm just going to install this into Downloads. And you can see now that that has installed. I have it down here in the bottom corner. You can also access it from your downloads directory and double click on it here, which is what I will do to open that installer up. And once your installer opens, we're just gonna simply go through and follow the prompts. Let's go ahead and click next to continue. And we'll agree to the license agreement. Um, Let's just follow all the recommended settings to keep things simple. So we'll install it just me, just for the current user. And I'm going to install it in this destination folder, which is Miniconda 3 uh, on the user path. So we'll click next here. And we're once again going to leave these defaults. Um, I am not going to add this to the path variable. Uh, if you have multiple Python versions you use and you're not totally sure what you're doing, that can cause some issues. So I prefer to just leave the default settings when installing. And so I will do that and I will click install here. Okay, now we just wait for this to install. It should not take too long. You notice that the installation um, was only a few hundred megabytes. It was less than one gigabyte. If you were installing Anaconda, it would be multiple gigabytes to install. And there would be a lot of packages that you probably wouldn't use. But there could be certain situations where you do want to install the full Anaconda distribution. And those could be if the distribution includes packages you use frequently that are difficult to install and have issues with different dependencies, then Anaconda can be useful for you. As you can see here, the Miniconda installation is complete, so I am going to click Next to finish this installation. Okay, and you can see here that we can launch the tutorials to get started, and we'll just go ahead, I'll just click Finish and launch those tutorials so you can see what those look like. And it's just gonna open up these web pages and we can register for free here. There's the distribution tutorial, so you can watch the tutorial here if you're not familiar with Anaconda. Um, and you can also get some more help here with Anaconda Nucleus, which we're not going to worry about. I'm not gonna worry about that. But that's how you can get some resources. Now let's go ahead and open up Anaconda. The way we can do this is if we type Anaconda into our Windows search, we can get this Anaconda prompt. Notice it says Miniconda 3. And if I click on this, it will open up a command prompt. Let me just adjust the size of this for you so you can see it a little more clearly. And you can see I'm using the base environment here. And if I type Python, you will see that I'm using Python version 3.9.12 and it's distributed by Anaconda Inc. 
And so I'm using my Anaconda Python distribution here in this prompt. And this is how I prefer to use Miniconda or Anaconda. We can type quit to exit out of Python. And there you have now installed Miniconda. I hope you have found this useful and I hope you've been able to get things set up properly on your machine.